Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Heart Gold, my monoelectric run. And it's time to make our way down to Fuchsia City in order to take on Koga's daughter. Yeah, I thought about going after Sabrina, then I was like, you know what, I want a soft target for right now. I mean, it's it's late, and I'd like to do something a bit easier than, you know, chasing after Sabrina, but... Uh, especially since I'd have to deal with, um... Item spamming, and I'd like to avoid that tonight. Like, I gotta do enough item spamming in other games already tonight, no? You know? With, um, the repair powders in Dark Cloud 2 and stuff, so... I we do something different. And plus, if I take on her, I probably won't need to use Helions really at all. It'll be a straight-up fight. See who's the best. Maybe some switching, because I think she has Confuse right on Pokemon R2, but... For the most part, you know, just straight-on, one-on-one battles. Without concern for what's to come next. Ah, it's still alive. Double hit. Huh. Sounds like double kick. Only not as cool. Because kicking people is a lot more interesting than hitting them, usually. And what do you do? You do like a double headbutt? I mean, unless it's that one technique from Roy Kenshin, I really don't care. You know, that Zanza uses and that one guy that's from the Jubangatna, where you can blow things away. I forget the technique's name right now, though. Ugh. And if I could remember, I think I'd end up mispronouncing it or only remembering it part of the way. It's been a while since I've watched that series. Ugh. I do remember them having a battle where they basically were throwing their um, one-hit killing attack at each other back and forth. Until, until one gave out his, he, his spirit was broken. Like, their minds are overpowering their bodies despite the fact they should already be dead. I'm like, like, oh, okay. Anime logic. You've been hit with a one-hit kill technique dozens of times, yet you're still alive. Apparently it doesn't work as well as it's supposed to. Okay, that's how you want to play at Survivor? Well, fine. You want to use your swagger, then I'll just switch over to Neodymion. So he's gonna eliminate my stat buff. Gotcha. It makes sense. I, I can approve. You can't use swagger if your opponent's got max attack stats, so taking all those away, then being able to swagger them all over again is a brilliant move. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't know if I'll ever really use that strategy myself, but that's because I don't really like swagger that much. It's too much of a double-edged sword, even on the Pokemon that can use it. I mean, the only thing you know, I'd really advise throwing at is someone that's using all special attacks on their Pokemon, so they can't really benefit from it beyond, you know, knocking themselves out with it. Which isn't really a benefit for them, it's a benefit for the person that cast it. <sighs> but with the special um, physical attack split, it's a bit hard to know if your opponent's going to be using all of one type or not. Okay. Well, this gym hasn't changed too much. The walls are just invisible now. Like, completely invisible. Before, you could mildly see them. I think you can still partially see them here. Though this is annoying, I, I will admit. Okay. Yep. Time to take on ourselves a gym leader. At least they didn't try to make her this gym even more gimmicky than it was before. There's no point in messing with a classic design, right? I like the invisible walls. They better not mess with my invisible walls. They know what's good for them. Okay. Try it again. Okay. Ice Beam. Yeah. having bad luck with that Screech attack. Well, I'm getting tired of um, potentially hitting myself, so I suppose it's time to switch out. question is, what am I going to be going up against? I'll really play a factor in what I'm going to put out there. Well, if it's a Weezing, then I'll send out Neo then. I'm guessing it's going to mostly have poison moves, you know? Which means I can completely shut down its offense for the most part. Okay. 
Oh, he's got double hit. Apparently that must be a normal attack or something. Well, let's hit with Discharge then. Well, using Special Defense usually isn't the best in my experience. And being slowed down with Paralysis means that Neo can get in there for the kill real fast. Though I think it went first the first time too, so it wasn't exactly necessary, but... Sometimes you gotta hope for that Paralysis to kick in, you know? Um, I'll just Discharge on it. Ah, speed lowering, gotcha. Oh, come on, you can't really use Psychic when you're in Aerodose very effectively, and it's not gonna work on Neo anyway, he's Steel-type. You don't have the stats or the stab to pull that one off. Come on, you gotta be more creative than that. Ugh. I, I figured she would know better than to drop Psychic with on Neo, you know? Well... Let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's not flying type, it's bug poison. So no matter what I throw at, it's gonna bounce back and take minimal damage at best. Of course, we don't take out soon. If it keeps doing that double team stuff, I'm gonna have to move into using um, Electrode. Which won't be fun. I don't want to rely on Swift here. Well, it looks like he managed to pop it before he got the chance to get really annoying with all those double teams. Huh. Great battle technique. This has nothing. This has been nothing about technique, practically. It's all been about me just overwhelming you. And the level gap here is just too much if I'm relying on Bombori to carry me. I mean, it's ten levels. It's quite a bit when you think about it. It's sort of sad, though, that she's not more on Sabrina's level, therefore she'd actually be stronger than her old man who's on the Elite Four. But I suppose some would argue it's, it'd be sort of weird or strange if she was weaker than her old man on the Elite Four, you know? Ah, Poison Jab. Yeah, you get on that. I'm gonna try and get out of this gym without hitting too many walls. Darn it. Ugh. So many invisible walls. Too little time. Well, that'll do for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.